Up next, I have the cam, the Canon camcorder. This is the Vixia HF R600. Um, this is a replacement camcorder for my old Canon camcorder, which I used to record travel videos and stuff. But yeah, that's mostly what I use this for, is to, for recording travel videos. When I went traveling to Europe, I uh, used this camera to record. Um, it has the AVHD, Dolby, HDMI, all the stuff. Uh, mic, AVL, HDMI out, USB, uh, all your standard features, SD card slot right there. And of course, um, your zoom controls up here. Optical image stabilization, 32 times optical zoom and uh, your record button here. Um, the re main thing I use this for is for travel videos and the main thing that this one does the other uh, of the other cameras that I have don't do is zoom. Um, and zoom is something that I use sometimes for getting cinematic effects. Sometimes if I want to make like uh, compilation videos, montages, something like that, I use zoom a lot and that's something that the other cameras I have except for the iPhone um, they don't do and the iPhone even on the iPhone you have to like pinch to zoom like that and it's really kind of annoying I prefer to have an analog zoom like this but I think out of all the cameras this one is probably the most replaceable because I think some of my other cameras once they have some zoom feature or something built in then this one's pretty much replaceable because um, like my other cameras have I think this, the, the, the video quality on this is good but it's arguably not the best and the main thing I use this for is because it has uh, zoom on it. It's not like it has a wide angle or anything. It doesn't. So um, yeah, I just when I record like concerts or some festivals or something, uh, I can use the zoom feature. Or if I go traveling or something, but that's pretty much it. So that's what I use the Canon for. A 57 times advanced zoom actually. So mainly for the zoom. Alright guys, this is it. This is the uh, Croatian coastline and I'm here right at the port. You can see behind me. It's very, very beautiful. a lot of birds flying around the port here. Oh, yeah, oh, amazing. I've never seen so many of them before right here. Croatia and here is the um, little marketplace here. What's interesting about Croatia is you have all these old buildings that are kind of still uh, damaged. They didn't repair all of them yet, so you can still see some of it here. Oh, it's pretty amazing. Whether it was like this before the uh, Yugoslavian or not, I'm not sure. There's pretty interesting buildings, very, very different than uh, Prague and Vienna, which I went to. Today is a beautiful sunny day in Croatia right now. It's split. And uh, I'm just going on my way to uh, the main tourist attraction, which is Old Town, the old square of Croatia, of Split, I mean. Let me go right here. The old fort monument. the 
walls. Wow. Pretty amazing. apartment I guess Very, very European like here. Love it. The nice cafes and restaurants here. Very nice. European feeling. LG. Even Croatia can't escape uh, the air conditioners of Korea, I guess. Alright.
Hmm, it's a church. Yeah, it's a church. That's like the center of this whole square. <clears throat>
Wow, it's very beautiful. Let's do a few sixty of here. Here are really amazing. Remind me of like um, I don't know Italian or something. How narrow they are and all this stuff. It's pretty amazing. Thank you. 
Reminds me of uh, California. Except the, the sea is uh, so blue. I've never seen California seas this blue before. The sea is really blue here. So blue. 